evaluating the deal. As a final part to the previous videos, evaluating the market and the sponsor, assessing the asset itself is probably the easiest, but nevertheless important in deciding whether the investment strategy, such as core, value add, or development is appropriate for your portfolio. Do not pick the deal with the highest projected IRR. It is just a wild guess at best. Review the business plan and make sure the CapEx budget is sufficient to support the business plan. A couple of key metric, metrics to consider are yield on cost, which is the performa cap rate once the property has stabilized, and a related metric called development spread, which is the difference between yield on cost and the going in cap rate. The development spread measures the amount of value add or the improvements to be made to the operations to force appreciation. The projected rent bumps should be well supported by true comparable properties and similar unit amenities. It is also ideal for the asset to be located within convenient access to major highways, retail, grocery, restaurants, etc. Review the debt structure and determine its suitability for the business plan. It does not make sense to put on long-term 12-year fixed agency debt if the plan calls for selling the property in three to five years after stabilization and incur steep prepayment penalties. Is the interest rate fixed or floating? And if floating, is there a rate cap in place for the entire maturity of the loan? In addition, a conservative operator will keep excess reserves not only for all major components of the asset regardless of the condition at the time of purchase, but also for working capital and contingencies for unexpected issues. When it comes to underwriting, you will want to see conservative rent growth, realistic expense ratios, and adequate economic vacancy projections to make sure the operator isn't making aggressive assumptions to inflate the projected returns on paper. Pay close attention to the insurance cost property taxes, and if the property is in a flood zone, which will require additional coverage and added risks. Is the operator using a reversion cap rate that is realistic or in line with long-term historical average? Be aware that even a small reduction in the reversion cap rate can increase the projected valuation of the property significantly. What kind of stress testing, break-even occupancy, sensitivity analysis has the operator performed? It is good to see a matrix showing how investor returns are impacted by changes in the occupancy, rent growth, and cap rates. As it relates to fees and profit splits, you will want to see the fees are reasonable and that there is alignment of interest and skin in the game from the operator. Acquisition, loan guarantee, and asset management fees are typical, but capital raising, Broker-dealer commissions and disposition fees are less common. Is the operator putting in their own money in the deal, net of their fees, and signing on the loan? There are infinite ways to structure the profit splits or the waterfall. One that is favorable prior prioritizes the return of investor capital plus a high hurdle rate, also known as a prefer rate, before the sponsor gets to participate in the profit split, but also incentivizes the operator to outperform by allowing a higher split if a certain level of investor return is achieved. Carefully review the private placement memorandum operating agreement as they provide the governing and legal framework for your investment. Make sure that your understanding of the terms of the deal as represented in the investment deck is clearly spelled out in these documents. Please note, Break of Day has various free tools on our website that you can use to help evaluate deals. As always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions at joseph at breakofdaycapital.com. Thank you.